first, I would like to ask for your permission to use this video for educational purpose. Absolutely, sir. We did a testimonial right in the surgery, but now we are 10 months out. First of all, uh, tell me about it. What were your symptoms before the surgery? Well, the pain levels would go as high as 8, and if I did any activity at all, it would go off the chart. It, <laughs> it brought tears to my eyes, and I had to sit leaning forward all the time. Yeah with my elbows on the table, and I had to lean to the right a lot. So my body mechanics were, uh, totally in caused me a lot of pain. Yeah. Now, the pain was eight uh, and pretty high, and, uh, and we did lots of conservative therapy, but that wasn't helping you. Uh, I'd done everything uh, possibly known, I guess, mm -hmm. to uh, be in a conservative therapy. I've done uh, PT. I've done... Uh, Water uh, aerobics. Yeah, but none of that was helping. Nothing was taking the pain away. Yeah. And I was on 1,000 milligrams every four hours of uh, hydrocodone. Hydrocodone. From the VA uh, yeah. doctor, who yeah. was my primary care doctor. Well, and we did the surgery almost 10 months ago. How are you now? I got a good quality of life that I'm satisfied with. Excellent. And, you, and uh, I'm feeling stronger. And every day I try to do as much as I can. I don't like sitting for long periods of time. Okay. And the pain, 1 to 10, how bad is it? Right now it's about a 3. Okay. But I think my knees cause a lot of that. Okay. Too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see you have a uh, brace on the knee as well. Now, overall, uh, tell me, uh, are you back where you want to be? So uh, no, my goal is to be uh, off of all medication okay. associated uh, with my back, such as uh, right now I don't take any hydrocodone or oxycodone. I don't have any any left, and I haven't requested any. Excellent. Well, you are off the medication almost. Yeah, and excellent. I, I do like to uh, keep the Flexerol. Okay. Uh, I don't know the name for it, but that if I get muscle spasm, and I haven't taken one uh, for a while. I'll try to take one, uh, and that'll last me uh, eight, nine, well, ten hours. Well, I think it's a realistic goal to have you off all the medication. I'm going to swing here. We did a three-level OLIF for you about ten months ago, and this was actually you worked the same day. Did yes. You? Okay. I did. How long did you stay in the hospital after the surgery? Three days. Three days. It, 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 I think it was due to the uh, weekend was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Saturday and Sunday. Surgery yeah. was on Friday. But you walked same day and yeah. you were uh, felt uh, okay. Uh, yeah. No, um, you had you told me you had significant leg pain. I and I did have significant leg pain. It ran all the way down my leg before the surgery. On both sides before the surgery. It, how's that pain in the leg? I don't have it no more. It's zero, okay. zero pain in the leg. When legs. did that pain go away in the legs? I was gonna say about two months ago. Okay. Uh, I noticed. Hey, I'm not having no pain in my legs. Something's okay. going on with me here. Okay. So I was telling the wife. Excellent. Well, I'm very happy. It seems that we had a good recovery, and it seems that everything is in the right position. Everything is healing. And still, you know, the, no excessive activities, but I think we are on the right track. Right. To get I, I feel like I got a good regimen going here. Excellent. Thank you so much for the interview. Sure.